Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. <laughs> and we're going to cook a couple of things today that's um, not anything special. But uh, we're going to cook some fries in the air fryer. I'm going to bring you a little bit closer since we're sitting down, Linda. And um, we're going to cook some beef cube steak with gravy. We'll tell you all more about that in a little bit. But um, we didn't write the, the name of the lady down that sent this it's, to us. It's Miss Hoover. Miss Hoover. Okay, thank you, Mary. I'm sorry. But she sent both of us a bottle, um, a quart bottle. I think this is a quart. Uh, almost a quart of Mexican vanilla. That's going to be know. really nice for us oh, for know. us to be I'm using this fall. To... So thank you very yes. much, Miss Hoover, for that. Yes. And uh, Mir, we're meeting somebody tomorrow right. that probably for several months has planned. Now that looks glare to me. Does it to you? A little bit. It may be the. Um, it may be because the comments are on there. I don't yeah, know. But see yeah, that's better. Um, he's from Washington State. And uh, we're meeting him tomorrow for lunch, and uh, we're really excited about that. So uh, that's going to be fun. He's been wanting to come see us for a long time, and um, so we're going to get to meet him tomorrow. And um, thankful that, um, you know, there wasn't any more. I know there was a lot of property damage, but we're thankful that there wasn't any more lives lost than yes. it was in the, um, in the hurricane. And we really appreciate everyone. I know a lot of people were praying for different ones down there on the coast, and not only in Louisiana, but in Mississippi. And yeah, you know, uh, we live down there uh, in uh, below Houston at uh, in uh, Angleton years ago, and I'm t I know what that is. It's very Every time scary. it comes up, them hurricanes and and tornado was hurricanes because it's on the coast. Uh, we'd have to we'd have to go in. We'd have to leave and come to my mother's or. To Nacogdoches or somewhere, and and I I know what the experience is. I sure do. And you remember Hurricane Camille in '69? Yes, the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Yes, Ghost. yes, were, I do. Were you and Bobby and Carla and Chuck? Were y'all living uh, in Jackson at that time? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was yeah. working at the telephone office, and uh, we worked. And they provided us uh, meals. And I was working downtown um, Jackson on Capitol Street. You talking about when they hit Candlestick Park? No, I'm talking about Camille, Hurricane Camille. Well, in 69, we still lived there. Well, that's when yeah. Camille hit okay. was in 69. Okay. And uh, I was just a local op telephone operator, but they put me over on teletype. And that was, I love to do anything with my fingers anyway. And that was so um, such an experience because I was teletyping these messages back and forth between people that were trying to get in touch with the loved ones. Yeah. And it was no talking. It's, it was all done over teletype. And I will never forget that. We worked probably 16 hours a day. Oh, goodness. They even had places in there for us to lay down and rest if we got tired because it was so busy and people couldn't, oh. you couldn't get through on phones. I mean, yeah. the coast was devastated. Anyway, I always think about Camille when uh, there's a bad hurricane that hits the coast. So, yeah. um, and I was actually going to go down there and work, but they got everything situated before they sent us. So I just, I just worked from Jackson. Yeah. yeah I was working at Learn Shops then. Yeah. You were working yeah. downtown at Learn yeah. Shops. So, um, we um, we want to thank everyone um, that's ordered from us this month. This has been a very crazy month with, um, uh, you know, we're uh, limited as to what we can say, but we've had the 25% off on the electrics, and today is the last day. Last day, so go to our other page today. And, and if uh, anybody hasn't got one or uh, if it's you're... It's a nice day. If you're still thinking about it, don't wake up in the morning and wish you, <laughs> wish you would have ordered Too one. Too late then, because uh, they're already saying, you know, of course, I'm, we're still talking about the other page, but they're saying they're running out of products. So. Yeah, they very well yeah. might run out today. Um, I have used this air fryer three times this week. Have you? Yes, I have. And, and I'm not I I'm not going to lie. I was intimidated. <laughs> And I guess that's why I hadn't used mine, but I'm, I'm fixing to start using mine. In fact... Um, Misty, our niece, who has one and has used hers many, many times. She uses her several times a week. I messaged her and asked her a couple of questions because I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, that I was going to do things the right way. But I think you're going to be impressed. If you haven't already used yours um, or if you're thinking about getting one, um, watch us closely because we won't be able to describe no, the features. 
So yeah. you'll have to watch us what we're doing. So I'm going to give my hands a quick wash. Um, and um, we're going to do these potatoes and get them all. Okay, you wash your hands and, and then I'll... Um, I'll go wash mine so we won't both leave the camera. Yeah. Um, we're just um, excited getting to meet a, uh, one of our followers uh, tomorrow. And um, and then, of course, I've got, um, I, I have the hardest time getting an appointment to get my oil changed in my car. So I finally thought about it in time to get my uh, oil changed. So I've got that on my agenda today is getting my oil changed. Because you're so busy and always I'm so doing busy. something for somebody else. When I else. call, they don't can't get me an appointment whenever I'm available. So I finally got uh, got one made for today. So I'm going to wash so my I'm hands. I'm going to wait until Mary gets back over here before I start talking about these potatoes. But um, um, if you have and all of us have done it, have a bag of frozen french fries in your freezer for emergencies. Um, maybe you don't have one potato and you need enough for three people and so you use frozen potatoes. Um, those are good and they do have some with some good quality if you cook them right, but I'm telling you there's nothing like a fresh a fresh yeah. french fry. Yeah. So, um, all right, so you've got them cut here. So I've got them cut. And we're, uh, I've got one in there that's not cut, then we're going to show you how we did it. You want me to get it out? Yes. I've soaked these about, I guess, about 45 minutes in cold water. And the reason you do that is to get the starch out of them, and that makes them crispier. So the potato, now, I just cut it in half. We're going to dry these off. Okay, yeah. that's what I was going to say. Do you want me to wait to yeah. get them all on there? Uh, you can just go ahead, pad, yeah, pad pad can go ahead and, and put the rest of them on there if you want oh, to. Okay, well, I'll do that. Um, those little boogers are slip, slippery because they're wet. So, um, Mary, I, I guess I'm telling you to do that, but this is, you may do these different. Did that not get cut all the no, way through? it didn't. Okay. <laughs> I've done that before. And they I'm may not be onions. all the exact size, but the way I do mine to keep from having to cut them more than, uh, you know, a whole bunch of times, I cut, I cut them in half, and then... Um, if they're too big, then I'm going, I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm just going to cut them in half again. So this potato here is I cut the ends off, and then I'm going to cut it in three pieces. And it's going to depend on how big your potato is. And some of y'all are probably laughing. Some of you old-timers say, well, you know, nobody needs to tell me how to um, peel or cut a potato. And that's why I peel them ahead of time. But uh, this is for people that might not know these tricks. So you'll see that I've got two of them together, and I'm just going to cut them in half. You want them to be kind of pretty much the same size, but this keeps you from having to slice them. And, and you know, you can do them in the rapid prep mandolin, but this is a big potato, and I wanted long potatoes, so I'm, I'm doing them like this. And you can you can put some more uh, paper towel on top of that if you want to, Mary. Okay. So I just uh, cut the potato in half and then cut the ends off, cut the pieces in half, and then... Depending on the size of your potato, make about three more cuts. You know, Linda, I forgot to tell you that I uh, called Aunt Faye. Oh, how's she? Is she doing any better? Uh, she's doing. She's doing better, but she's still got the shingles. That's her part. Uh, and I tried to call Aunt Laverne. Matter of fact, I tried two or three times, and um, Aunt Faye said that um, she was probably doing laundry. She's um. She's in an assisted living place, and they have their own uh, laundry mat that's right down the hall from her room. But she has to, to go. I'm gonna have to uh, wash my hands. I have a hair hanging down in my face, and I gotta okay. get rid of it. Well, um, there's some hairspray in there if you need it in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna get rid of I'm it. I'm gonna use this same bowl here, Mary. Okay. I just rinsed it out and dried it out. Now, the, the great thing about here, I go walking away from the camera again while Mary's away from it. The great thing about the air fryer, of course, everybody know it's healthier, healthier, eat, healthier eating, healthier cooking. And um, so you use very little oil. And um, also, when you're, when you're making potatoes for like a gathering, do you allow one potato per person? That's what that's, I do. Yes, yes. Allow, that's what so I do. if you don't right. know how we've cooked for so for large yes. groups, so 
when you're cooking, you want to allow one potato per person. And that's probably, now if it's a great big potato and we're doing mashed potatoes, I might just do yeah. one, just for us. But if you're doing french fries, you want to definitely allow one, one per person. So we're just going to put these in here. You just kind of let, the reason for the paper towels is to soak up the extra yeah. water that's in them. And we're going to put some, a um, little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to salt them after they're done, but I do want a little bit of salt on here. When I made these the other night, Mary, I put cayenne on them. I'm not Did doing you? that today. <laughs> and I, I put I a bit little bit good. too much. Oh, no. We loved them, and we ate them, <laughs> but they were hot. Really? <laughs> yep, they were hot. And I'm going to give you this. Just, just lay this over there, Mary, okay. if you will. So we're going to get, we're going to put about, I'm not even going to measure this. You don't want over a tablespoon. I'm probably not even going to put that much. I'm going to probably put maybe like a teaspoon, teaspoon or two. You just want a little bit. Does that look So like you don't one? spray, you don't spray your french fries for the, for the uh, air fryer. You just I, put a little I oil. I use oil is oh, what I use. Okay, well that's probably better. And um, I brushed the trays when I was cooking on the trays. Uh -huh. I brushed them with um, with oil using okay. my, uh, my pastry brush. Okay. I just brushed them. So you just want to toss them. Don't they smell good? Mm-hmm. And, um, and according to the recipe in the book that comes with the fryer. Do you think that one needs to cut needs again? Needs to be cut again. Where's the knife nine? over there? Okay. Mm. I tried to get these pretty much all the same size, but looks like there's some in here that I didn't cut the second time. Um, and you want to have your sea salt ready as soon as they come out of the fryer so you can salt them again. But um, I want to put a little bit of seasoning. Now, we have a salt and vinegar seasoning that you can use on these if you like salt and vinegar right. on your fries. Thank you, Mary. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you can... Use any kind. You can put paprika, you can put um, Cajun spice, you can put anything on them. But uh, we're just going to do these just plain okay. salt and pepper okay. and, um, and like a little bit of oil. Nothing like so, French fries. Let me Fresh wash my hands fries. again. I'm going to move this. And I've got the air fryer sitting on. Um, yeah, I know she had it sitting board, on the board. You, it's, it's not necessary. You don't have to. Okay. Uh, but I just did. So are you going to leave it right there, Linda? I'm going to turn okay. it at an angle. Okay. And I'm going to turn this uh, skillet on over here so I can heat this up. Like this? And yes. then I can move the camera. Yes. Okay. Um, would you mind to move it back just a little bit? Because yes. I'm going to be right in yes. front of the camera. Yes. I don't know which I way it needs I'm to come. Over here. I'm going to move it here. Y'all know that... All appliances, small, small appliances, have a short cord on them. That's for safety reasons. I'm gonna move the and pants. I don't like it, but that's the way it is, and that's what you have to deal with. And you're not supposed to put um, connected extension cord to them. And to while you're like while this. you're putting it in there and doing that, I'm gonna hold the camera close so they can okay. see what you're doing on the. Now I'm gonna open phone. this and show you. I've got it turned on, but I don't have it set. I'm gonna open this and show you. You've got, these are your little racks here. This one uh, comes in the top, which is, I uh, have it turned right. I, Excuse bless me. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. I knew I was going to do that, that pepper made me sneeze. <laughs> and the allergies are really bad right now too, aren't they, Mary? Yes, they are. I so, um, I have to use my... All my nose, nasal spray and everything this week. So these three come in, in the air fryer. And then you've got this little drip tray down here that's in the bottom. You want to leave that in the bottom. These these are, and I have to be careful what I say, but this is where you're going to connect the basket to. This is the basket to put the french fries in. And according to the recipe that comes with the book, you can do four potatoes at one time. So I just open this up. And I'm going to, my hands are clean. I washed them again after I sneeze. I'm just going to do these four, put these, um, no, these are three. This is three potatoes, not four. <laughs> That's a lot of potatoes. Well, it said you could do four, and yeah. I did two the other night. But, yeah, it is a lot of potatoes. Hopefully it's not, <laughs> hopefully it's not too much. But it said four, so. That's okay. Uh, it looks like it'll hold it. We're going to find out. Yeah. 
Okay, now I'm going to snap this back together, and then these fit on the um, on this little thing right here. Now there's not room in there for you to maneuver around, but there's enough room to set this on there that um, that catches. Okay, you see that right there? It's caught on there. This is your retrieval hook. And it just, when you take it out, it doesn't hook. You just slide these under there and pull it, pull the basket out. So I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to close my lid. I'm going to turn it to custom. And this is a dial. All our small appliances are dial. I'm going to dial it back to 10 minutes. Okay? And then you press this, and that, that will take you to the temperature and then I'm gonna turn this on 400 and I'm gonna press that and I'm gonna see you see the rotate it's gonna rotate this so we're gonna cook that for 10 minutes and then once that's cooked we're gonna turn it on the air fryer and we're gonna cook them for 18 minutes more now that's okay. 28 minutes so um that might not sound like I mean it might not might sound like a long time but really it's not if you're considering if you're doing other things in the kitchen yes. while that's cooking it um, time goes by right fast. it does go by fast so right we're going to move over here to the stove and we're and i'm going to tell you what i've done over here so um i've got my skillet on yeah it's hot i've got my broth heating over there and we may need some more water. In fact, let me get... Um, uh, let me do it. Where, um, where do behind you, you in that cabinet, there's a small boiler to the right. Just one of those small my, boilers. My, yeah, my, yeah, that, that one. And just fill it full of hot water in case we need the extra, okay. Mary. So what I did, I did this the other day. Um, there's so many times that... You'll forget to take meat out of the freezer. Have you done that, Mary? Yes, It just irritates you. And there's two of us here. One of us ought to remember that we got to eat the next day, right? <laughs> I forget to take my meat out but all the time. But sometimes you just forget. So I did. I forgot to take some meat out. I had some cube steaks that I wanted to cook. So um, I got up, um, got the put cooker down from the fridge freezer or had refrigerator had Mike to I put these frozen cube steaks in and I put them on sear and I seared them for a few minutes and then uh, turned it on the pressure setting and uh, it's defaults to 30 35 minutes well I knew it wasn't gonna take those um, cube steaks that long to cook so I turned it down to 26 when I took it out then my meat was completely done. That's great. And then I made uh, gravy in it. So that's what I did this morning. I cooked, this is uh, six pieces of cube steak. And now I did cook this for 35 minutes because it was more in it. So, and it's perfectly done. You can um, take a fork here and, and, and see how tender it is. Yeah. So it's, Very it's done. I mean, it's just, you, it Very just comes tender. apart. But it didn't come apart either. Yeah, right. Which is good. So what I'm going to do, I've strained the broth three times, and I'm going to make some gravy. I've got my skillet hot, and this is this is our 12-inch skillet. I love this skillet. I love mine, too. This is the one that goes with the set. And I'm going to put, you're supposed to put equal amounts of oil and equal amounts of flour. And you, have, and you measure yours? I don't either. I don't. <laughs> I know just by eyeball. And by I'm going to put it. This is probably between three and four. And I may have to add some more. Your, your flour over there? Yes, okay. I got my flour over here. And you know, Molly and Grandma Hooper always put salt in, yeah, I know. in, I in know. their oil. I know. And he did their oil. And what is the reason for that? Is it just something I'm they I'm sure do? that Mama told me it's probably something that maybe generations before them done. I, I don't, know. So. I don't but, know. But, but I, I do it because Mama always, that's how Mama I did don't it. usually do it. But I'm getting, I, know, I know you do. I'm going to let this get hot. I may not have enough oil. I'm trying not to get too much oil because this has still got some fat in right. it. And I don't want it to be really, really greasy gravy. I think I'm going to need just a little bit more, don't you For think? For the flour, yeah. For this big skillet. 
then you're going to make a big pot, that's for sure. So this is probably between three and four tablespoons over oil. I want this to be hot before I put my flour in it. You know, um, right now, oh, there's something else. Um, um, I they told me was that um, there's a lot of COVID, a lot of COVID going on down there at um, in Lucky Lucky. Yeah. I know it's just it just seems like it just won't quit. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try three. These are pretty big tablespoons. I'm gonna try three first and see. Get my whisk out. I tried a new recipe yesterday. I um, know oh, it looks so <laughs> pretty, but I don't, I don't <laughs> like what you had in it, but I know, it sure looks pretty. I, know. I may fix it Thursday. I don't know. I hadn't decided yet. If I do it Thursday, I don't know that I'm going to do it, but if I do it Thursday, I am going to do it a little different than I did yesterday. I'm going to add something to it. But, um, let me get my whisk out. I don't like my flour that thick. I'm gonna add just a little. Do you, do you, Mary? Do you like your flour that uh, thick? Well, mine is usually about that way, but um, I know it lumps easy yeah. when it's. You don't want it dry. That's for sure. Your uh, gravy. And we'll take the whatever the fat's left on it after it gets cold. You can take the fat off the gravy easy, because we always put leftovers up in the refrigerator and before you reheat them you can do that. I tell you it's got where I hate to put any leftovers in the refrigerator because we cook so much till if I don't take it to somebody right then well I, I pretty just, much know if I'm going to eat it the yeah. next day and we're better about eating leftovers than we used to be and usually if I don't eat leftovers by the next day we don't well, that's, that's the then I'll do something yeah, with them. Yeah I will eat on it one more day but that's about it. I'm trying to cut down on the proportions, the amounts that I cook, cause. I and do. that depends on what you cook. Well, too. that is some things you it, have to cook a lot of. If it's gravy, yeah. I'm not going to throw it out. Yeah. And if it's peas and cornbread, I'm not going to throw it out. <laughs> or butter beans, <laughs> no, no way. I will. They're too precious. It's hard to especially than peas to fix them. There's no way I'm throwing them out. I'll eat them for three or four days. So we are, um, I know, I know we say this every time we film, but it is just going to be so nice. Um, we had to run to town Monday and to ho run a whole bunch of errands and it was some stuff we had to get that was heavy and I, I didn't have a hard time picking up heavy stuff. So Mike went with me and it was so nice and cool up until about right before we left and exactly. then it started getting hot. Yeah. There was a little cool breeze blowing oh, and it nice, just, yeah, it? it just <laughs> makes you just, oh, I just cannot yeah. wait. So these temps gets down a little bit lower, a little bit lower, and it's going to be so nice. And you can hear the air fryer going. One thing that we didn't mention about that is you don't have to heat it up. It starts cooking it immediately. It starts cooking instantly. Yeah. And we still will have some warm days. So, you know, if you're thinking about cooking and not wanting to heat up your kitchen, um, the air fryer and the quick cooker are excellent for that, for not, ha not having to heat up your kitchen. Now, y'all will notice that I've got this on medium because I don't want it to burn. I don't want my gravy to burn. You just want it to brown yeah. slow. Yeah. And um, then we'll, and we may not even need all that, that broth, but I want, I'd rather have too much than yeah, not. Yeah, absolutely. So what I did with the, uh, the, um, the steaks, yeah. Um, I put, I salt and peppered them, and I put probably about, that's probably at least two cups of liquid, isn't it? At Maybe least. Maybe two yeah. and a half, yeah. it's three yeah. cups. I put yeah. that over the, um, after I seared the cube steaks, I put the, the broth over them. I put a little bit, about a half a teaspoon of our Tones beef base that we yeah. get at Sam's. right. I use that all the and time. And that makes it really rich and good. And, um. And then I cooked it for um, 35 minutes on the preset of beef and took it out and strained the broth three times and took the, yeah. the meat out yeah. and made the gravy. And you've got 
a pretty decent meal. Absolutely. You add Absolutely. your French fries with it, and if you want to, you know, fix a vegetable, yeah. some green beans or peas or something to go with it, or corn, then you've got a nice meal. Uh, Linda, I don't think we've told them that um, our pink aprons um, are going to be, uh, is it the last of September? I forgot what he told me. Sean around told the me. last. About around around the, the last of fifth. September. Um, we're going to have white aprons. We've got them ordered. And they're at the they're at the printing office, but they just so swapped with soccer games and cool things stuff, yeah. and things that they're uh, uh, printing. So we'll have white and pink aprons. They're the, they're exactly the same. They're the same except and they'll have the this will be pink on yes. the white. Yeah. This our emblem will be pink. A lot of people but it's have asked about the white ones. Yeah, about getting yeah. white ones. Right. Okay, I think this is brown yeah, enough. I think that looks good. Um, it's just kind of a golden brown. You don't want to get, get it too dark, so it'll taste burnt. So now we're gonna um, we're gonna pour the liquid in here. All right. And um, okay, you ready for me yes, to pour it in? Yes, I now? am. I don't want it to burn you. Tell me when. Okay, so I'm gonna get this stirred up and then okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need the rest of it out. Okay. That's hot. I'm gonna turn the burner off. Okay. Yeah, you can, pour the, you can pour the rest yeah. of it in there. You want it all? Probably so. It's yeah, I think so. All right. Okay, I heard the air fryer okay. go off. Oh, really? And um, so it's cooked 10 minutes. So now we're gonna. Um, so now the, what? After ten minutes, what? We're gonna turn it on air fry. And uh, okay. Mary, do you want to stir this? I over there and, and reset this. I, let me get. Up, let me get. Thank it. you. I can't go around this. I'm sorry. I guess that's okay. Let me try to help you. That's all right. Uh, that gravy sure does smell good. My that goodness. Smell good? Yes. Okay, they might want to see you. Probably more than they do this gravy. Here, let me see if I can twist it around and stir gravy okay. at the same time. If you'll have to turn your, you'll have to move you so they can see what you're doing. Okay. Let me look at the camera and see if it's showing. <laughs> okay. So I've got it on air okay. fry. I'm going to turn it down to 18 minutes. Push this so that sets that, and then it's on 400. So now it's going to start cooking. Now we'll put this back over here. Do you think that's going to need any more broth in it? Um, it might need a little more. You can. Are you going to weaken it down a little bit with water? Or are you going to put broth? I don't. No water, water. Because yeah. that's pure. It's so yeah, yeah that's, that's what I was thinking broth. too. I'm gonna get a, a put some spoons out of here. So. It's probably going to need a little bit of water. So we can, um, I guess we'll put because the water. Are you putting first. the are you putting the uh, cube steaks in the gravy? Yes, I am. Yeah, it needs a little more water then. Okay, tell me when. Let's stop there. Okay, and after it cooks a minute, we're yeah. gonna taste of it and see if we yeah. think it needs any more seasoning in it. That one's rich, don't it? It is. Oh, it smells so good. I got a spoon you know, there for you two to taste it. I want to see if it needs more salt. You, uh, this spoon? Yes. Or is it delicious, isn't it? It tastes good to me. You may think it. I don't think it's too salty, but taste of it and see what you think. It just, it's good. It's not too much salt. Do I can think, taste the salt, but it's not too much. You don't think much. it needs more, do you? No, no, okay. no. All right, so we're going to put the, we're going to put the, uh, the beef in it, put that in it, and I'll move this whisk. I'm going to get it. You won't need this whisk anymore, will you? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely tell that it's got. It's delicious. It's going to have some. Very rich. Oil on top, but we're going to. Well, I want to wash my hands again. Um, I uh, was wanting to go see Aunt Laverne and Aunt Faye, but I think we're going to have to put it off a little bit because longer. Because of COVID. I, I yeah. do too, Mary. I've, I've, Aunt I Lucy, I mean, it's been, of course, we've seen Aunt Faye and uh, Aunt Laverne at the reunion mm -hmm. in June, but we haven't seen Aunt Lucy. Yeah. In, well, we've seen her through a glass right. a year ago. Right. But, um, 
it's um, it's been a long time. I sure it's a lot like longer see than we usually go without right. seeing our ants. A lot longer. Okay. Now I'm gonna dip some gravy over that. Now, this is a good supper, isn't it, Mary? Ooh, yes. Now, this is not anything fancy. Oh, it's but it's not is anything good. with a, a lot of different kinds of taste to it. It's just good beef yeah. gravy and cutlets. This would be good over mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. You could put onions in your gravy. Rice. You could put onions in it. Mushrooms. You know, different people have different tastes. I don't care. I like onions in the gravy sometimes. But uh, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just like it plain with the mashed potatoes or rice. Um, I think I'll turn this down just. I do some. Bit. I do beef tidbits sometimes and use rice. And, yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I, I do or too. you could put it over or noodles. Noodles. Yeah, noodles. I've, I've done it over egg noodles. Can they see this? Yeah. Let me see. Let me get it closer. Yeah, that is it. Pull it back a little bit further. I think it might be better if I stand it up like this. Okay, and that doesn't that look good? It looks delicious, Mary. It you is look delicious. so good. Oh, you look so nice that oh. you're losing weight, and I'm not. I'm not losing it very but, fast, um, but I am very, losing very some. Nice. So it's making me feel better, and that's that was my whole goal. I it wasn't. I wasn't so concerned about how how much I weighed. It was just that I did from my health. I had to. And I was forced to, to for my health. And I do care. I do care about my health. So I did. I just said, well, I'm going to do you've it. Done, you've done excellent. Well, thank now, you. Now, this, this gravy is a little bit thick. And you can add a little bit more water to it if you want to. But I'm turning it on low. And if you'll hand okay. me the lid. Okay. Because I want it to stay hot when we, when we do a plate. Um, and um, we're going to check on our french fries. All right. Minutes. And see. Sounds um, good. And then we'll come over here and fix the plate. Okay. Um, but we're going we're gonna to bring it back over here to the... Yeah, we're going to bring it back over here. To our air fryer. You know, there's uh, there's lots of things you could do. If that's all you got to do is, um, uh, you can, is put your food in there. You can bake in it. Um, get, get a bag out garbage or at least I picked the one that was out. Uh, um, the settings is um, air fryer, bake, roast, rotisserie, reheat, and dehydrate. You can make so you, you can do hot wings uh, um, and it comes with a recipe book. So um, that's right Chuck. He made um, beef jerky. He made beef jerky with his, my son. And what else did he do? Oh he did some um, dried fruit. We did some right. You can dry 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 dry. Dry. Um, Deer season's coming up. A lot of uh, guys and women that deer hunt, um, they like to take stuff like that to have a new deer stand. And I, I'm, I may be speaking out of turn because you can tell I'm not a hunter. <laughs> Our cousins may be laughing their heads off because of the smell of beef, beef jerky. They might not look that around the deer. I don't know. <laughs> you can tell we don't hunt. <laughs> we don't we, I, I, but I sure been thinking about camping. You know, they they do hunt when but they go camping. Good, it'd be yeah. good in the camp. Yeah, wouldn't it? it would. It sure would. I've been trying my best to, to think of something that I could cook for for all the campers. There's usually uh, one day people takes turns uh, cooking for uh, for everybody. You're talking about for the reunion, for the right? reunion, for the family reunion. It's camping, it's a family reunion. Yeah. So anyway. I hadn't come up with something. Well, I think I am probably going to do the same thing I done a few years ago with baked potatoes and, and uh, barbecue. But I've been pricing the meat, and the meat has just gotten outrageous. Do you know what those cube steaks cost? Mm -hmm. that still enough? Probably $15. Eight, $18. $18, yeah. $18. Yeah. Mike had a fit. He said, I can't believe you paid yeah. $18 for a pack of meat with six pieces of meat in it. I know. It was $18. Yeah. That's how much it was. I know. Now, Kroger's does have their chuck roast on sale this week. We they bought do. a couple the other day. They do. Two seven they do. I think it's but I like the pork. When I do the baked potatoes, I like you, the pork. You use pork. the pork. Okay. I use the pork. Okay. So, um, that's what I was looking for. And, I mean, a, a roast, one roast is $22. And um, I usually do three when I go to the family union. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I may have to rethink what I'm going to cook. But, anyway. 
It, I'm going to figure something out. You definitely <laughs> spend money when you're cooking. Yes. If you have the space to buy meat when it's on sale or buy in bulk and exactly. cut them into portions or cook them like in the quick cooker and then freeze some of yeah. it already that's already cooked. You yeah. can do that too. You still have to have space uh, in that freezer and that's that's my problem. I guess I need another freezer. But if my yeah, freezer is cool. need another one too. But if you're cooking now if you're a single person and it you might probably could eat out as cheap as you cook at home. Um, unless you just don't like eating out and you like to like we said, you know, portion out meals that you cook. But cooking for a family, it's hands down. Yeah. It's cheaper to cook at home than yeah. it is to eat out. Yeah. yeah, I believe it is too. Um, I was just thinking about, you know, every, uh, people's telling us they wanting our mother's book published. Yes. Well, uh, we're working on it. We're working on it and, and we're making a lot of progress with, the, with, some, with, with some help. And, um, but I read some up the other day, Linda, and it was stuff that we did not tell y'all. And, um, <laughs> I'm going to do the same emotions again because it was, it just renewed some of the things that I had forgotten about. And, uh, cause we didn't tell you, we didn't read, uh, we didn't tell y'all near all of what was in the book. The nine parts that we, um, uh, told last year, um, we told some important parts, but like Mary said, it was not anywhere near the entire book. Yeah. And it's so, something that y'all are going to want to read. Yeah, it's, it's it just it takes is. a it just takes a long to get her, get things like that done. And we are working on it. We really, really are. And we we got help working on it for with us. So yeah, um, we've been we're very blessed. That yeah, we actually had a couple people offer, and then one of our viewers offered to help uh, with the editing and everything of it. So uh, we appreciate everyone that's done the offers. Now, once we get the manuscript typed and printed, um, we're our next step is going to be trying to find a publisher that yeah. we feel like that's trustworthy and that, you know, that we can afford to have it done. Right. You right. Know, we because um, we'll find somebody. It, you know, it takes time. It's, it's like anything you... You do if uh, if it's if it's easy, you know. Well, it's not worth as much. <laughs> anything, anything, anything you, you really do want done, yes. it's you have to work at it. You Mary, um, I'm. Um, I was going to tell you when you first came in this morning, and I didn't. But I dreamed about Mama last night. Did you? That's Aww. the first time I've dreamed about Mama in I, a long time. I hadn't dreamed about a long and, time. And uh, we were. It, we were somewhere, uh, me and Mama was somewhere, and you weren't with us, but we were around, there was two or three people, it was like we were in somewhere buying something, and Mama looked so pretty. She, she looked oh. so pretty. And, and uh, we were uh, checking out and everything, and I said, I said, by the way, this is my Mama. And I said, she is a celebrity. And Mama looked at me like she could have slapped me. <laughs> Just like Mama would do, because no. Mama was not a prideful no. person. I said, she has a book out, and it, it just, it, it's tears it just are just a, coming down my eyes. And, Mary, and Mama said, she said, Linda Faye, she said, I'm not the celebrity. You and Mary are the uh. celebrities. And it just, it just warmed my heart so much. It you just, know, Mama was 78, wasn't she? Said? she almost, was 78 almost 78 when she died. Yeah. But I'm, I have the, some of the same features that my mother had. My mother wasn't a big person, but her face showed all the wrinkles in her face. And the more weight I lose, the more wrinkles is in my face. I was looking at myself this mama. morning. It just, my face is going to look like a but dried it's up prune. It's beautiful. When I, Mama's face was beautiful. Yeah, and, when, and then when Mother died and they embalmed her, they blew up her face. You know, because she looked, twenty years younger. she looked so young. I mean, she just looked so young. I couldn't believe how young she looked because her face. I'd gotten accustomed to looking at her face so wrinkled, and that's why my face is. It bothered me for a while, but I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> I thank God every day I'm alive. I'll yes, tell you for sure. You. If it takes a few more wrinkles in my face, that's okay too. <laughs> 
one thing about it, wrinkles are beauty. Yes, They're beautiful. I guess so. Uh, so me dreaming that it made me oh, really, really think that this is a, this is getting more closer to a reality right. than it was this that time I last feel like year when we started telling her story. I feel like we will accomplish what we what we set out to do when we get that book and get and let everyone uh, read it. Can you imagine Mary? What she would she would just be so excited. She She'd would be so excited. She just be so excited. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's okay. <laughs> That's all right. I think somehow or another, you know, we don't understand what goes on after after we die. We just know the streets of gold and all we can go by is what the Bible left for us to go by. But um, somehow or another, um, I know the hereafter, it, um, I know when you have someone close die like that, uh, it's a feeling that you don't have any other time of feeling close close to heaven. It just, it puts you in a, in a whole new realm of, 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 uh, of feelings and emotions. Um, I'm going to show something here. Um, I do want to kind of, here, let me turn things, the camera around for you. But I want to show y'all, um, uh, what this does when you open the door. Just a minute, let me so, get the camera so they can see. Okay. So I'm going to open the door and, um, now, was that, well, had the timer went off? No, it hasn't, but okay. I wanted to open it and show you okay. um, that um, when I close it back up, it's just going to pick continue. right back up. It'll okay. continue. Okay. So you don't have to reset it or anything. Okay. So is that the minutes left or the seconds? It is or? the minutes. So it's almost over. over. Yeah, it doesn't like long. Now, this is more potatoes than I did the other day, so... We're going to take them out and check them and see if they're done. Okay, okay. And, and if they're, you know, if they're not, I think they will be, but if they're not, well, then we'll know next time to cook okay. them a little bit longer than okay. 18 minutes. So, okay. Um, I'm going to set this here. Okay. Uh, when we, when we get this out. Are these little microbursts, Mary? These yeah. are perfect. Now, they, Is that they right? say to, um, they say to use these bigger ones. Oh, really? These don't fit my hand right because yeah. they're, they, I don't, I'm always afraid that my hand's going to come out of them. Yeah. These are perfect. Yeah, you and get these a good grip. Now, now we're going to take this out, but if you're, if you're picking up the trays, this is perfect to pick up the trays with. Yeah. Your little micro grips. Yeah. I like those little micro grips. I use them a lot. <laughs> More than I do these. Yeah, I've heard them use these. Because they're too big for my yeah. hand. Yeah. And I'm so. always afraid if it slides out, then right. whatever, I'm, whatever I'm trying to hold <laughs> on is going to burn me. <laughs> so, do you want to get your oil changed today? Yeah, you I am. I, um, I, I always start trying before it gets time. For it to be changed because I know how it is. It's hard to it's hard to get an appointment. Well, I tell you what, the reason it's hard to get an appointment is because there's only one place that I'll let change my oil, and that's in Marshall, and that's not that's fifty something fifty five miles from my house. And so um, when I come to Linda's house, it's closer to to get, to get me. So I do it up there. Uh, are you going to get them to change to put that new tire in, or are you going to go no, to discount tire? No, no, I'm going to make an appointment discount tire. I'm just going to go ahead. I think I'm just debating. Going to say it. I've got one tire on my car that's wearing that, and it needs. I need a new tire. I don't think I need four, but I want all four of them to be balanced right whenever you know wear yeah. wear at the same time. So. I've been debating on that, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and get four. But I always buy my tires at discount tires, so that's what I'm going to do. Your Bonnie's husband uh, doesn't yeah. he, he manages Yeah, the I hadn't called tires. him, and I need to call him and, um, so he can get credit for it because he lives in Weatherford. Weatherford, yeah. yeah. Um, so, so we don't have much longer left on that for it to, um, to do. We're going to. We're going to check them and see them now. You know, this is my fourth time to use this, so I'm going. I'm going. To, <laughs> no pressure. I'm going to start using. I'm going. To, I'm going to experiment on mine. I think this week. 
and uh, and see. I think I'm gonna do some chicken wings. I think that's what I'm gonna. And do. when you do your little trays, you want to just lightly brush them with a little bit of oil. Okay, just so you don't oil. do the chicken wings in the basket. Well, um, I haven't done chicken wings, so I don't okay. know if you can okay. do them in the basket. When you or did not. The, when you did the chicken, did you do it on the racks? On the basket. Uh, I did, did you do it, some chicken? I did. Um, I did it. Uh, I did it both. I actually done some on the little okay. uh, racks, yes. and then I done some on the scores. Okay. Because I'm just kind of playing with it, trying to you know trying to get familiar right. with it. Is basically right. what I'm trying to do. Because um, I had several, and every time I'd get one, I'd give it away. <laughs> so I hadn't been able to. I gave mine it. away too. You done the same thing. <laughs> I did in the air fryer. So, I gave it to my daughter, and then uh, I told her I wanted it back. <laughs> but I, I got her another one. <laughs> and, and we don't say that. We, we no, love giving stuff away. No. We don't. But when I did the Christmas in July, the only thing that I had one of was the air fryer, and that's what she picked. Is that right? <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. It, we didn't mind. Yeah. Okay, it's gone off. So okay. let me get over here and check it. And I'm going to. Are you through this plate here, Linda? Yes, I am, Mary. That's all right. I just okay. Um, I'll I'll, I'll maneuver the camera see. for you. If these are done. So you just catch this under here. It's real easy to bring it out. See how easy that was? Now I don't know if these are done or not, but we're going to find out real quick. They look like it, Linda. Well, some of them are, but not all of them are. So, um, and probably because I had more in it, you know, it's so you suggest one year, three one potatoes. How many potatoes do you This is three. three. I would I would suggest two because these are not quite done. Well, Linda, are they done? Are they done? Just not uh, not crisp? Is that are they uh, done? The ones in the middle are not are, done. are not done. Okay. Um, I can tell by looking at them. They're oh, not, okay. now, there's some of them that are, and I'm gonna get them out. Okay. But um. There was one thing that... Be I, careful. <laughs> I told y'all, I'm drawn to anything with heat on it. You can see some of these skinnier ones that I didn't have them quite all the same size. And some of the skinnier ones are done. But I think what my problem was is I didn't have this basket on good enough to where it rotated. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So when you rotate it, you have the, to be the, careful and make and make sure that it's um, on there in the little notches correctly. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's what I'm saying. And let's see if I can get it this time. Now, right. is that the inside of that hot? It probably is. Be careful. Okay. Let's see. If I can do it like this. That's a handy little handle there. Yeah, it, to... it is. This little retriever tool is great. So what the problem is this. So you can tell that it's not on there good? It needs to be on there. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. I got it. Then I dropped it. Okay. Now, okay, now it's swinging, right. so you know it's... Now you can see it's swinging. So I that, guess was it, my, that was my error. So you know that if it's swinging, that it's... Uh, so So how much longer are you going to cook them? They're nearly done, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I'm going to cook them like... I'm going to cook them like maybe eight minutes on mm -hmm. here. Okay. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I was wondering. At 30, 40. <laughs> you have some burnt... Burnt taters. Burnt <laughs> taters. Can you see in there? You can see, but um, okay, that's the custom button, and I think that is the one that does the rotating. Okay. I'm gonna get this right, y'all. If I have to unplug it and start all over, because I think I'm gonna unplug it. Now, 
Y'all, I'm experimenting now, so y'all just bear with me. I'm going to turn it back on and put it on custom. And I'm going to do it for 10 minutes. Going the wrong way again. Nine minutes. Turn it back up to 400. So you do your minutes first and then the temperature? Yes. Okay. Now why is it not rotating? Now that must be the rotate there. Yeah, okay. Now it's rotating. So the little light rotates? Yeah, that, that right there shows you. It was rotating and you salt. Oh. Yeah, you have to put salt on potatoes while they're hot. <laughs> they have a very good flavor to them. You'll not see that basket rotating, but um, well, I, it, I, it doesn't look like I can. You can see in there. Yeah, you can oh, see I it. see. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to get my little book out and read up on it. But I know the other night when I cooked the two, they they turned out perfect. Okay, y'all see what you mean now? Hmm. Well, that's rotate. Yeah. You did you mash you mash the button to make that the yeah, I rotate did. button? I mashed the button. Okay. Well I haven't read a I haven't read the manual, so well, I can't tell you. Y'all know that we're you know, we're not we don't claim to be perfect. Um I did make these the other day and they turned out really they nice. Look good. They look real nice. Picture on them. But they I did really put good. an extra potato in these and maybe if you're cooking four potatoes you do them two at a time. Yeah. But um but we're gonna get them done. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna get them done and fix the plate here. Well, uh, get that pepper on there, girl. <laughs> you know I'm gonna get pepper on it. <laughs> Now, I didn't actually look at it the other day to see that the basket was rotating. So, I don't know that it moves. It may be that it moves at half time because it beeps at half. You know what? I just happened to think about that. I bet yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. After it's cooked half minute, uh, half of the cook time, yeah. it beeps and um, turns and goes the other direction. Yeah. I, okay. think that, I think that may be what it does. But I am going to read up on this. So, y'all... <laughs> Bear with me. I hope I'm not embarrassing my sister. Um, you're not embarrassing me, honey. I hadn't even uh, got the out the brochure out the book to read up on it. So they're real crispy. I imagine that so. Well, uh, I got out yesterday morning. I woke up at five o'clock and got out early and went to the store. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna. When we, oh, okay. when we get some more done, I'm going to okay. fix a platter, but I don't want to take it up. Okay. And I, it, it is amazing to me how um, the store's running out of stuff. Did, I know. Did you, have, did you have, see that? Notice that? How yes. some of the shelves are empty? They are. I'm drinking Gatorade, and you can't even hardly find Gatorade. The, the Zero, uh, the Zero's uh, Gatorade. It's, uh, it's scary. And, you know, uh, yeah. Not knowing and you know, not wanting to stockpile and hoard, but it's also scary. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna stockpile if I ever find that the little small bottles, those little uh, if I drink one a day, I don't have leg cramps. But if I the Gatorade, yeah, the Gatorade. But if I if I do, if I go without a day of uh, drinking one of those little bottles, um, uh, I have leg cramps at night, and I've noticed it, and so it helps. The Gatorade helps me. Well, Mike has leg cramps a lot, and he takes magnesium. I take magnesium I every other day, but I, I haven't had a leg cramp in a very That's long That's good. Time. I hadn't had any in a while, but when I started this diet, um, I, um, I started having leg cramps. So I, uh, my daughter, she's my coach, she said, Mother, get you some Gatorade. And so... I started looking for it. Well, 
I bought all they had at Walmart the other day, but that wasn't but three of them. They, they come in like to you, ten. To little the little individual yeah, individuals. I bought how many comes in one of them cases? Like I have twelve, no idea. ten or twelve. They didn't have but three, and I bought all three of them. But I only had one flavor, and I and and the zero. Now you can buy the Gatorade, but not the zero that has no calories in it. And that's why. Does it have any taste to it? It tastes as good when you're not drinking the, the water. <laughs> Is it like citrusy or? No, I don't know how to taste it because I've never drank Gatorade. But I've tasted of Gatorade and I didn't like I it. I didn't either. But the Zero, it's not that bad. It's kind of like does drinking it, Kool-Aid. Does it not, does it it not is have not, sugar or anything? It like? does not have sugar. It's got something in it because it ain't bitter. It's sweet. I mean, it's not sweet, sweet, but it's it's good. It, it's very good. And I asked uh, the man yesterday, the stocking guy, and he said that... Um, that they was running out of the material to make the Gatorade. Oh my goodness. So, I mean, it's just. That is so strange. Yeah, it's just a uh, you know, we, We've always been so blessed that we live in a country I where know. you can just go just get go what get you it want. Anytime you want it, but it's not, not that way anymore. I know. It's not that way. So. Well, we got four more minutes. Mm -hmm. And let's see if, if, let's see if they're done. I'm gonna check this. Oh, I had this almost just well, so. Yeah. Well, um, Miranda Shower, my uh, Carla's youngest daughter, is having a baby, uh, and we were going to have her baby shower, but then they um, got uh, they got sick, and so she had to postpone it till the twenty fifth. Is that what it is? The twenty fifth of September. So we're. Um, uh, I'm looking forward to that. That's the first thing, and then right after that is uh, uh, our yeah. That's back to back. Back to back. It's going to be tough on it's me. It's going to be a, a, yeah. a quick trip to yeah. uh, Wichita Falls and yeah. back. And well, we'll go a day ahead, but yeah. still, we'll be busy all day that Saturday because we'll take the cake already made, but we'll have to decorate it right. there. And if I know my sister. Well, Miranda, she's yeah. going to be decorating other stuff, too. Well, Miranda, she just wants uh, to do so much of it herself. I know, and she's eight I months know. pregnant. I told I know. her, I said, Miranda, you don't have to do that. She said, I mean, my mom make some cupcakes. I said, <laughs> Miranda, we're going to have cake. Linda's bringing a big cake, and I'm bringing some cookies. And um, I'm going to try something new. I told you I may have to have your help on it. But but the, sim the, the simple way I'm going to do it, I'm, her her shower is going to be uh, cows. Can you believe that? Thing. Baby yeah. baby shower cows. But it, you know that's a going thing, and she's already bought a lot of decorations. It's going to look really nice. But she uh, like a cow patty. Yeah. I'm going to make a. Uh, I thought about getting ding dongs, the ding dong cupcakes. You know, I thought about that, and then just putting white around it to make it look like you know that it's a, a cow spots or whatever you call it on it. But then. I changed my mind. I think I'm just gonna do a cake, a pancake, and cut, and cut like a donut, cut out. like a biscuit cutter, and cut them out, and then dip them in white chocolate. That'll be good. And then put some little black spots for. Not, you know, I'm not the decorator. Are I'm, you going to use fondant, that, fondant, white fondant, just some cutouts with white yeah, fondant? Yeah, I think that's what okay. I'm gonna do to put on the white. Because I've already chocolate. bought, I've already bought the. Uh, Vanilla fondant and some to add some uh, okay. black okay. fondant for the Okay, cake. good. Well, so that I'm gonna do that and then some cookies. But anyway, I'm not the baker of the family. It's gonna be, it's gonna be <laughs> the decorator. Uh, uh, don't, don't uh, baking your the goods. I I'm not. You can bake as good as uh, I can any day. But um, I anyway, it. she's gonna. She's. I mean, she's feeding them. She's feeding them a meal at a baby shower. Of course, it's mostly family. Um, but, so what is she? What is she? She is uh, the men folks. Her her husband and several of the others is um, really. They're making hamburgers and hot dogs, chili dogs, <laughs> and um, you know it's not going to be no. You know. Thank you, Linda. You're um, I could have got up and washed my hands. Well, I, was, I know that, but I was going to keep you from doing that. I well, I do. appreciate that. You're, You're sweet. Welcome. You're sweet. And I'm sorry I didn't mean to make you cry a while ago. Uh, no, no, Mama. it was, it was, it was, uh, it was my dream, you know. I had a day, I had a day last week when I was reading 
some of her book. And uh, I had to stop. I just, I said, I can't, I can't do this. Okay. So. All right, let me, oh, I'm sitting here like a knot on the rock log. Show. Okay. All right. We're gonna empty these out. Now see, there's a little, very little cleanup in here. Yeah, I see it's that. It's just a little bit of dripping. And we're going to dump these out yeah. here. Okay. Yeah, that would be better, because I, I can't get this camera to, to show. Now, I next time I will not cook three potatoes at one time. I'll cook two. But uh, I think this is too low is the reason that's doing that. That's a lot of potatoes. It is a lot of potatoes. Okay, let me move our they look pepper good. holder. And I'll fix the plate. So you're gonna fix some yeah. taters? I mean, some gravy and meat. Sounds mm, delicious. Mm-hmm. early for lunch, but when you don't eat breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I guess I won't move the camera over there. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming oh, okay. back over there in just okay. a second. Okay. Let's see. My hands are clean, y'all. These taters are hot. Sure probably not good. arrange them on here as pretty as you would, Mary. No, it doesn't matter, Linda. It's just us. We're not. We're. <laughs> I say it's just us. <laughs> I guess it's really not. It's about just how us. many thousand other just people. Just <laughs> a few thousand watches. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't have any rolls. I can get some bread out if you want some bread. I don't, Linda. Okay, let me get a couple forks. Mary, okay. I can fix you a plate. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just, we got water, right? Yes, yes, we got water. I'm going to lower this camera, so. We're soon going to have a camera person with us. Yes. At all times. Which is going to be so yes. super nice. Starting next month, we will have a camera person, and things are going to start looking up for us, hopefully. Okay. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. Yes. Let me move that out of the way so that can see. Hot? The pan's not hot. Okay. Uh, am I making enough racket? <laughs> <laughs> not as much as I'd be making. You know how I am in the kitchen. Okay, so thank you, Jesus, and we're just going to try it. Let's see what we think. Do you like to dip your french fries in gravy? I do. I'm on B. Mm, thank you, Jesus. That's good, Linda. I'm just going to get one bite of tater. I'm not eating pota potatoes. Not on my diet. <laughs> gravy ain't either. That's really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Get one more bite. <laughs> well, we want y'all to have a blessed day, count your blessings, and know that the Lord is good all the time. All your trials and all the things that you go through, you still can find a ray of sunshine if you look for it, because God is good. Yes, our mother was a, a perfect example of that. Right, right. Uh, Mary and I both will be on live tomorrow on our yes. other pages. In the morning. Giveaways. Have you decided yet what time you're going to go? We got to do it before we go to, uh, I know. to I know. Longview. So, so mine is going to be probably around 8.30. Okay. Well, then I'll get on at 9. Or you can go first it and don't, then I'll it don't go. Matter. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. I, I know I'm going to leave here by no later than 9 because okay. I have a couple of stops before. Okay. I, I will be on at 9 on mine. Or, uh, will that give you enough time? 
Well, how long are you going to be on it? I'll just watch you when you get off. I'll Probably get off. 15 minutes. Okay. Well, then it may be a quarter to nine. Because when I see her get off, I will, um, I'll be on my page. So we. I say 15 and, you know, I'll probably be on my page. I know, but that's but okay. I'll be watching. Um, so. Okay. Thank you all. Count your blessings. We love y'all so much. And, uh, thank you again for everybody that, um. It's so sweet and kind to us. It's always so delightful to go to the mailbox and pick up the letters it is. It's and read so the fun. letters. And, and uh, it just puts a smile on my face. Thank you all so much for watching us this morning. And we hope you all have a blessed day. Bye. Bye-bye.